everyone, my name is Victoria Staswitz, and today I'm here to demonstrate the AHA importer. Um, the purpose of the AHA importer is to take flat files, comma delimited flat files, and auto generate an SSIS package inside of SQL Server Visual Studio that then creates a staging table for users to work with. Um, but before I get started, I thought I'd give you a, a nice background on my quirky picture here on my desktop. I'm sure that uh, my family, who is in this picture, loves that their faces are present while I'm doing this demonstration. Um, and as you can see here, actually the architect behind the idea of the HA importer is here. His name is Ira Whiteside of Actuality Business Intelligence. And uh, then there's myself, Victoria, also present here too. But let's get started. So as you can see here, the icon on the desktop is very generic for the HA importer. It is a brand new tool. So we will have a different icon coming soon. Let's open this up. So to do that, I'm just going to double click on the HA importer. Now, the original idea behind this tool came from a gentleman named Moa. Um, and you can see that down here. And it's been modified by Nitin Kana an employee for Actuality Business Intelligence, per the direction of Ira Whiteside, the architect. And it found Mullen's idea and decided that he could take this and use this for his client's needs. Now, just to make the demonstration easy, I've taken the flat file that we will be working with today and I've stored that on my desktop. This is going to be the source file I'm looking to convert into a staging table. So I'm going to open that for everyone to view. You can see here, it's a pretty simple flat file. It's only two rows, all comma delimited. This is going to be our source. So let's minimize that. And what I've also done is I've taken, and I have our email addresses. I wanted to display this for everybody. If you have any questions throughout the presentation, you can send your questions to victoriastaswitz at live.com or iwhiteside at iwhiteside.com, and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. But since we've got the importer open, what I want to do first is I want to take and I want to work with my source properties here. So this right here where it says file, I'm going to click on my ellipse. This is going to go out and grab that file that I want to convert. In this case, I have it on my desktop to make it easy for all of us. And the name of it is called Claims Sample 2. Now, what I'm working with is claims data for a third party administrator of healthcare claims. That's the client I'm working for right now. And what I've done is in my flat file, I do have header rows present. It is comma delimited. And I do have my text qualifier in there. Now this is pretty easy in the sense that right now the SQL Server and my destination properties is the client, but today I want to work with my own SQL Server because I'm doing this on my own machine. So to do that, I'm going to take and place my SQL Server name in there. I'm lazy, so what I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to actually open SQL Server Management Studio where you can see my nice long server name. Nap to Playa Plato's Cave. I'm going to copy that, but I'm also going to connect to SQL Server Management Studio because I can view my table once the HA importer is done. I can view my table inside of SQL Server Management Studio. So I'm simply going to paste that into my server name. Now the beauty about this is, is that I can either connect to a known database inside of SQL Server Management Studio or I can create a brand new one. For today's demonstration, I will be creating a brand new one. So I can go back into SQL Server Management Studio, and you can see here I can open up the databases. I'm going to right click on databases and create a new database. I'm going to name this claims, name this claims demo one. Keep it easy. And I don't have to do that, I can simply hit OK. And now over here, you'll see the Claims Demo 1 database that I just created. 
So let's go back out of here. I'm going to take that name of that database that I created, and I'm going to place that inside of my database field. Because that's where I want to see my staging table land. Also, we've got to name the table. In this case, I'm not going to try and overwrite an existing table. I want to create a brand new table. To make things even easier, I'm going to name it Claims Demo 1. You can also, when using the importer, uh, pretty much have a username and password for this. I don't. I have It is integrated through so that I can skip that step. That's definitely up to the user. Once we've taken it, we've connected to our source, we've checked whether header rows are present or not, we've qualified it as comma delimited in a text qualifier, we filled out our server name, our database name, and our table name, we can now connect to the destination path. So this is actually going to create the destination we want to go and view on our computer. In my case, I like to make it easy. I like it on the desktop. For today's demonstration, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this, we'll call this Claims Demo 1. i got to go in that folder now and create the name of the package, which once again will be Claims Demo 1. So this has now created the name of that package. Pretty easy. I've got all my fields filled in. I've got my source identified and my destination. Now I'm simply going to click Import. Now what you're watching is the importer take the source, grab it, create the PDL for the table, create the SSIS package, and now it's also created a staging table with an SSIS. It did this so quick, it only has two rows to work with right now. But I didn't have to do any coding behind it. I didn't have to create any DDL myself to do it. So like any good programmer, I found a way to not have to code. <laughs> we'll minimize that. Now let's go take a look at our final product. We've got the Claims Demo database open. And I always, as rule of thumb, hit refresh on my tables because it is a table. Let's go view that. By right-clicking on my table, which is Claims Demo 1, I can select the top thousand rows, and now you can see the DDL behind it. Isn't this great? I didn't have to do anything to create this except for point to a source and a destination and pretty much name my server. You can see all the rows within my table and all the data inside those rows. But what I also want to do is I want to make sure that that package I've created for SSIS actually exists in Visual Studio. If I want to see what that looks like in Visual Studio, I have to connect that. So we're going to come over here to Visual Studio. And I've been working with this quite a bit. So today I already have a package created called Claims Demo 1. But if you'd like, you can create a new package. If you haven't created a package in the past, you've already run your AHA importer, you can simply hit Create Project. And under name, you can come up with whatever you'd like. For today, maybe for today's demonstration purposes, we'll come up with claims, demo, and just keep it like that. Maybe I'll make it claims demo two for purposes. This way, the audience here, you can see that I, even if I create a new package, I can go in, it opens up my new package. Now what I've got to do is I've got to add that SSIS package that's the AHA importer created for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit add existing item. So the item out here is going to be on my desktop. When we picked our destination, remember I named the destination claims demo one. And there you can see the package finished. I can add that and double click on it and now you can see the SSIS package that's been auto-generated with me having to come in, not having to come into Visual Studio at all. 
Now, since the tool is so new, we don't have names assigned yet. Um, that ability will come soon. But this right here is the T-SQL statement. And if I click on this under SQL statement, I can click on my ellipse and see all of the DDL behind the T-SQL statement creating that database. And that's viewable. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to click on my database. I want to see what's in my data flow. I want to see my flat file source, which was that comma delimited file we looked at earlier. We can see it sitting inside of our flat file source editor. We can take a look at the columns. The beauty of SSIS is once you've got this automatically created, you could modify this if you want to run it again and pick only certain columns you want to work with just by unchecking names. I won't do that today. And then I can go into my destination and I can look and go, okay, you know, here's my destination table name, claims demo one. I can see my mappings, which the beauty about it is I didn't have to map anything. It went through and the importer mapped everything. What it does right now is it takes these source columns and it replicates those column names to then push those over to the destination and it puts those destination column names inside the destination. It does not change them and it does all the mapping for you. We will have the ability soon to take, per se, a source column and maybe parse that. And you'll be able to take that and parse that inside of the importer and create maybe two columns inside of the destination that map to one column in the source. Or the opposite. Maybe you're going to concatenate two columns inside of the source and create one column inside of the destination. So for right now, what it's doing is it takes the actual column names inside the source, creates those column names inside the destination, and gives you a staging table to work with inside of SSIS without you having to go in and write any code to do it. All you're simply doing is pointing to your importer and picking the source, naming the server, picking the destination, adding the package, we'll go through this one more time, inside of SSIS that the importer created by adding an existing item and browsing the computer to pick your destination and then simply coming back here and double clicking double clicking on the destination name to view it. The great thing about SSIS, we can go back to the control phone, let's say you want to run this again, we can disable our T-SQL statement to run the package again now, as of right now, it's not going to truncate the old table, so you'll see the columns come up twice. If you run it again, we can simply right-click on Claims Demo and hit Execute Package, and you'll watch right in front of your eyes the package run again to make sure it's working correctly, and we'll hit Stop. And now if we open our destination, our staging table, we can see the rows have come up two times each but you can see it working. So if you have any additional questions on how this works or what it could do for you or maybe a client you're working at, let us know. Once again, I've got the email addresses up here for you to contact, and I thank you for your patience and uh, your eyes and ears today. Have a great afternoon.